morning, Ben the Pat Tester here, uh, back out this morning, uh, got a care home to do and then we've got to go over to do a, I think it's a, got a concession in a shopping centre or something and they need their Pat Testing certificate for the landlord or something like that. So we'll go and have a look, never know what you're going to find on these jobs, that's all part of the fun really. So. We'll go in, hopefully I'll be able to do some filming and if I find anything a bit suspect uh, or anything that warrants filming, then uh, I'll do so and then we can uh, have a chat about it later. So we're in our care home this morning. They caged over the plugs for some reason for a bit of extra safety or something, but uh, never seen that before. So we've taken the screws off, we'll test the, the TV that's up here. But also you can see there's an extension lead there and it runs all the way up the trunk here and it runs all the way in here through there, done a very good job of it down here, down the back of the fridge and it's down there powering the powering this fridge freezer here I mean they've done a, they've done a pretty good job of it but it makes it a bit of a nightmare to do a pat test um, A makes it difficult to do a visual check although it's not impossible that we can take the lid off the trunk in there but might be uh don't want to damage any of the paintwork um and hopefully there'll be enough slack on that so i can get both ends together um, to test it sometimes it's always good to carry an extra fly lead with you like a 10 meter single extension lead just for situations like this because there's no way that's coming out um, so just having a bit of extra slack with an extra fly lead, like a testing cable, so you can get both ends of the uh, extension lead together is a really helpful thing to have. So let's see if we can test it. So we've just found on that extension lead, it's actually wired the wrong way around. Live into neutral, neutral into live. So <laughs> quick fix, but just shows you the importance of uh, opening every plug top and checking. Um, yeah, that's not even wired properly in there, so that's that's dangerous as well. So we'll get that sorted out. Here's a good example of how not to wire a plug. So you look at all that excess cable in there. Um, that is not how to do it at all. That's, <laughs> that's quite funny, really. But uh, I don't know who thinks of you know, thinks that's acceptable. Obviously, somebody does, but we'll get that changed out, make it a bit safer. So we finished that job in the care home. Nothing too uh, stressful in there. A few bits and pieces we had to figure out. Just make safe. A couple of remedial bits, but all good for that one. On to the next job now. I've got to go and do a concession in a shopping centre. See you in a bit. So here we are. Look at this. We're on like a concession in a shopping centre. And he said it's all in this cupboard. So look at this. Go now. It's all up the back of the cupboard. There's an extension lead up the back. There's a, there's a pile of cables down there. And the guy said to me, the only way getting in there is to crawl in. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm going to have to do it, because to do it properly, I'm going to have to crawl in there and undo those bits. But I'll tell you what, this job is certainly different every day. So I've managed to get some access in here. I mean, this is a joke down here, but uh, it's so tight. I've managed to, and the extension leads go down here, and then there's, there's two that plug in down here, and they're all daisy-chained, and it's not great, but I'm doing the best I can here. But certainly that one down the back. Apparently the previous Pat Tester crawled in the cupboard. Well, he must have been a lot smaller than me because I'm six foot and there's no way I'm going to get in there. Going to have to just leave it. I, I don't like leaving it, but there is no other way into that cupboard. Not without taking out these shelves. Sometimes you'll come across jobs like these and um, you, know, you don't want to leave stuff like that. You want to do the best job that you can, but... I, I, there's no physical way of me getting in there. I'll have to see whether they can open up that back panel, come back another day. But all fun and games in the day of a pack tester. So finally, with a bit of grit and determination, managed to get in that cupboard and get that extension. It's only an extension lead and a clover leaf cable and an AC adapter, but I shall rest a bit easier knowing that I've tested it properly than doing a visual. Sometimes it, just doing a visual is all you can do. But I'll, I'll rest a bit easier tonight knowing I've been able to do a, a better check of everything. But uh, it was a bit of a mission getting in there. And I know a lot of pack testers that would have just left it. But uh, there you go. So all fun and games.